Here is an application problem. A bicycle tire revolves at 150 rpm. What is its angular velocity in radians per second? Rounded to two decimal places. So let's say that angular velocity is omega. Omega equals to is already given in revolutions per minute. So we write 150. Let me write revolutions per minute in this fashion. Okay. What do we need? We need it in radians per second. And see how I do radians per second from revolutions per minute. This is a very important transformation and I would like all my students to understand it. So what we do is we need seconds. So one minute has how many seconds? We say one minute has 60 seconds. So we write 60 seconds here. Now you'll notice minute and minute will cancel out. So you've got revolutions per second. Do you see that? So we converted our unit from revolutions per minute to revolutions per second. But what do we need? We need radians per second. Now how do I get radians? That is, we need to check in one revolution how many radians are there. And we know one revolution is 2 pi radians. So I need to write it in this fashion so that Revolution, revolution cancels out and we are left with radians per second. Do you see that? And therefore, we get our omega as 150 times 2 pi radians. And here we have 60 seconds over 60. Let me write seconds here. So we have radians per second as our unit. So that gives us the answer straight away. So you don't really have to think very hard. Just think about converting units. That's kind of key here, okay? So let me multiply this 150 times 2 times pi divided by 60. It gives me 17 15.7079. 15.7079. And they need to round to two decimal places. So let's write this to two decimal places, which is 15.71. 15.71 and what is our units radians per second okay radians per second so that is how we do convert our units from revolutions per minute to radians per second okay